Hey, what's up, Brent for Brent Speed. Thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. I'm pumped today because it's like a twin of my 2015 Daily Driver. So hey, if you haven't, please subscribe and notify us up to date. I'll put out a lot of Mustang videos like this. So we have a 2017 GT Renner Whipple Stage 3 package. I am gonna put a link at the end of this video of the Stage 3 package. It tells you kind of like how we got there, all the pulley swaps and how the power level changes. But right now, let's take a look at this engine compartment. So before I make a dyno pull in this car, I want to kind of show you what's in our stage three package and what other parts are on this car right here. So my 2015 with this same package, basically the exact same setup with stock exhaust, makes about 700 of the tires SAE. I think it's like 530 torque. So I'm really hoping this car is going to go over that because this one does feature Cook's long tube headers, my favorite exhaust in the world. So we have the Whipple Supercharger. It's the Gen 3, it's a 2.9 liter. And if you're thinking about like supercharger, you hear like 2.9, 2.3 different things. Basically a 2.9 flows about 25% more air than a 2.3. And that's why it's really awesome supercharger. On our stage three, we run the 3.5 pulley. It produces with a car with headers right around 12 to 13 PSI of boost. And on 93 octane, I really like to put some boosting in the tank. Just for some added protection, I'm running that kind of boost on one of these right here. We're doing the cooling mods. We have the alloy radiator, the rear cylinder head cooling kit, cooler thermostat. Of course, we did billet oil pump gears. So this is our stage three. Doug's with me. Let's just take a look at the supercharger real quick. So basically, it starts out as the Whipple stage two kit. So you get the big 132 millimeter throttle body. And then we add the Kenny Bell boost to pump. We add some more boost via 3.5 pulley. And like I said, we are running boosting in for safety. You know, a lot of people at 12, 13 PSI, they'll run 93 octane. I like running in there for safety because I don't want to have any problems with the engine. They, the NOG sensors are active, so they will pull some timing to see his detonation, but hey, better safe than sorry. So that's a stage three kit right there. Watch this dyno pull. <laughs> numbers came out great now this is indiana july about 100 degrees heat index inside the dyno cell 718 to the tires sae at 7500 rpms torque 551 at 4600 rpms that came out really good because my 15 i think last time i had it on the dyno we had really good air it's like 700 of the tires it was in february me and indiana we have really good air in february so i knew this would probably make more with the headers and everything on it and it did 17 to the tires, 551 torque. Flatline torque curve like I like, right now wide open throttle, we're over 500. I want wide open about 2,500, Doug. Maybe 2,600, boom, all the way to I let off at 7,500, and we're still at 500 torque. So, killer setup. If you have questions about this, be sure you leave a comment in the description. I'm gonna put links to the Whipple Stage 1 and Stage 2 kit. I'll put links to our Stage 3. You need a quote, you just email quote at brinspeed.com to figure out how much this cost to get installed. And then keep in mind, again, it's a 93 octane setup. I am running some boosting in the tank to help add some protection. Hey, but it's a neat setup and I'm gonna put a link at the end here. It's a little more in depth on the Whipple kit. It is an air cool kit. You might have questions about it. So that video will answer a lot of your questions. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.